not attend the schools, the social life, but now uh, millions of girls uh, are going to the schools, uh, thousands of women are active in civil society, in media, in government. We have uh, women in our cabinet, we have 27% uh, women in our parliament, and uh, another example is myself uh, being an ambassador and presenting my country in Afghanistan, uh, in uh, Europe. So that, that means that we have come a long way uh, to promote and uh, as well to empower, uh, empower uh, women's status uh, in Afghanistan. Coming to reconciliation and uh, reintegration of the Taliban, as I told before, that, that that's a kind of solution, a kind of political solution, because uh, according to our experiences, shared experiences with NATO and with all international community involved in Afghanistan, we discovered that we could not uh, solve this problem uh, in our country and as well in the region by military activities. So there is need for political uh, solution as well. So uh, negotiation with the Taliban is uh, a kind of political solution and we, we have offered this uh, solution to the Taliban uh, but we have some uh, sex, we have some condition. Without condition, uh, it won't be possible. And what is our condition? Our condition is our constitution. Uh, our constitution is a modern constitution based on human rights and based on international values. So in this case, when the Taliban want to embarrass Afghanistan's government, they have to accept the constitution. And when they accept the constitution, then there is no problem. That's, that's the thing. Uh, of course, uh, I have learned in this conference that there are many concerns about negotiation with the Taliban and many of the participants uh, uh, told that uh, there is no guarantee for that and they could not believe uh, Afghanistan's government and even international community for, uh, women's, uh, for women's status. Uh, during this uh, negotiation process. Uh, but I think that uh, Afghanistan's government are fully honest regarding women's positions and women's rights in Afghanistan and as well international community. Uh, uh, I want to pose this question that why international community there in Afghanistan? One reason of their presence in Afghanistan is uh, humanitarian things, human rights in Afghanistan. So when they are here, we hope that it won't be happening.